well, 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 well. You like my chufro? Yeah, it looks pretty sexy. All right, sweet. I thought you were auditioning for Superman or something. He is. He got he got the part. They fired Tyler Hecklin from CW, and mm-hmm. now it's going to be Hess in Lois and Superman and Lois. You know, if Hess was Superman, I'd watch every episode of that show. You do anyways. Yeah, but I would I, I'd fucking watch it six times if Hess was Superman. Yeah, but I say let's 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 get on that train to get Hess on like a TV show. Okay. Well, I'm sure that here will help. Hashtag get Hess to yeah. play Superman. I'm on it. That's what, that's, that's, what, that's what this episode... We'll do a podcast on Malcolm X, but it's going to be all about trying to get Hess to be <laughs> Superman. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, before we get started, I want to ask you guys a question. Okay. So this morning I was in the shower. I was cleaning. Oh, Jesus Christ. And, you know, I got... I think I might have got bit by a spider on my thigh. So you... Are you asking us if you're going to turn this? So, am I, am I going to be Spider Man, or do you think I'm going to die? It was, it was a time. It was like this big. It had really big ass legs. It was black, and I don't, it looked a little creepy. I can't remember if it's just in my head if I saw red on it or not or what. But I got bit by it. I because it it was on the wall and then it wasn't on the wall and I got bit by something and then it was on the floor in the shower. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't want to wash it off the wall because I didn't want to kill it. When was this? Um, you said this morning, but we know that's a lie. Like twelve thirty. Okay, maybe. So you, if it was a black widow, I'm, I think you'd be sick by now. Yeah, I don't think it was a mm. black widow. So then, who gives a shit? But it could have been. It could have been one from like you know, Osborne's place, and now I might become Spider Man or something. You know? Yeah, I don't think so. Do you think I'm gonna be Spider Man, Hess? I do not. <laughs> God, you guys are both looking at me like you're a retard. I mean, <laughs> sorry, I just don't. So here's the thing: if you get in the shower and there's a spider on the wall. <laughs> Kill it and then take your shower. So am I supposed to be like, douche, and then shower? I mean, you are a douche. So. Oh my god! One time, I got another story. Then we'll oh, get into the Jesus podcast. Fucking Chris. One time, I was showering, and it, you know we have that little thing that you like the little. It's like a little circle you can put to block the thing so you can take a bath or something. Oh yeah. Um, the drain blocker. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you. That's what an arm pusher. Would <laughs> okay. Probably call it. Um, the stopper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, so I was I was showering. And I was listening to a podcast, and all of a sudden, a giant ass cockroach crawls behind, right behind that, and, and it scared the shit out of me. And out of instinct, I just went boo, 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 on the shower drain and smashed the cockroach into the wall. And then I just, you know, showered and cleaned myself, but kept keeping an eye on it in case he came back from the dead or something. And then I got out of the shower. The, the funny thing is, is uh, I couldn't see your hand, so I thought you were like, you like fake were shooting it, like, <laughs> do, 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 do. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck did that do? <laughs> Cockroach is like, no, it's me. <laughs> oh man! Somehow, somehow, I would believe that reaction more than me killing it. Yeah, you're not exactly a killer. Yeah, well, that cock. I, I when it comes to cockroaches, a little, they freak me out. Yeah, I don't like them. Either. I like snap into like, once in a while. We'll get those big ass sewer roaches. You know, fucking co- gross. you know, what cockroaches say to me. What's up, dude? They come walking towards me, and I when they, we lock eyes together, they go, "Holy shit, it's Jason Bourne!" And then I fucking get him. Hmm. So cockroaches watch movies. Yeah, and they think I'm Matt Damon. So they're blind. No. Oh. Uh-huh. They just you know they think I'm Matt Damon. Okay. <laughs> uh? All right, yeah, you little bitches, ready to start? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Random Ramblings. I'm your leader, Drum King. Uh, I'm second in charge, Nick. I don't know why I'm second. <laughs> and I'm the dictator, Hess. Dictator Hess, I like that. <laughs> when I say when I say dictator, I mean like break it up in two words. I'm a dick, and I like taters. Oh, dictator. okay. You know, some people could get that like confused other ways, yeah. like a dick, like Kim Jong Un. Yeah. But I no, was, you just yeah. you're just a dick that eats tater tots. I thought you I were mean, a Kim, tater Kim and you like dick. <laughs> I mean, Kim Jong Un. I mean, some people might even say Trump fits into that category. I, mean, I don't know. Not anymore. <laughs> Kim Jong Un, Trump, Hess. <laughs> Mm, I can see it. Those are my I mean, three. You know, those are my three favorite dictators. <laughs> you know, putting the old putting the old dick in the mashed taters. You know. Mm. Uh, but uh, today, my little kitty cats, we're gonna be talking about Malcolm X. Oh my God. Okay, first yeah. question. 
No, first question. Well, thanks for asking, Kanye, go. since no one else did. I liked it. You N- liked it. What are you, Mikey? I've never seen it before. It's pretty okay. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> did you see John David Washington? I did. For the for when he goes, I am Malcolm X. I am. Ma-, and then they cut to another kid doing it. Yeah, he was literally on the screen for five seconds. Yeah, maybe. What yeah. The, how the fuck does that? That, that's, that was lame. I'll give you that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, expect, I expected him to be like Malcolm X's kid or something. An hour. Uh, P. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Why is, why is that three words? He, he was like us. It's, it's like when we play words, and except he just goes Penel, and no. me and you go a, a P. P. But he did the full thing for us there. Yeah, Penel a P. There we go. I, I forgot to put the noise cancellation on, on these fuckers. I can sound like she was in my eardrums, bouncing the ball around, trying to get her fucking treats out. Jesus. Did you see John David Washington? Yeah. I did. I did. I would did. you have seen him if I didn't? If see you that didn't picture? send me that picture, Pro- I probably would have missed probably him. Probably not. Yeah, yeah I, I definitely would. I would. Mean, I, I would have known him either. Yeah. Yeah. Had to. Uh, but before- did you, did did you see did you see Bunk? I did see Bunk. I'm pretty sure yeah. I saw Bunk. That's the guy from The Wire, right? Yeah. I, did you I'll- guys did you guys see I have it in my notes when it pops up, but the fucker from Sopranos when he was like interviewing, "Hey, that's a fucking bug. I am a I uh, That's another spider. Kill it. He thinks I'm his mom." Did it make you stutter cuz <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't you be his dad? You know what? I Michael- like Call, yeah, Christo- Cr- Christopher was interviewing him. Yeah, that, that was yeah. that surprised the fuck out of me. What about? And he had like a weird accent too. I mean, what about the biggest cameo? Biggest. Hold on, wait. Let me. Oh my god, wait, I can't wait. believe you haven't mentioned oh, it. Oh no, 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 no! I got it. You want me, can I read you my last note of the of the movie? I believe. Sure. Hold on, I didn't come prepared. I had my other movie things run up right here. Malcolm X. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, actually, my last note is what the sequel should be. Uh, my second to last note is Gus killed Malcolm X. Actually, he shot him after he's already dead. In the movie. Oh, you know. The shotgun killed him. Ass. Gus killed Michael Max. Fuck, yeah. Did you see, did you notice, like, we're kind of jumping ahead here, but so. We also I, have to do our poll. As at, as <laughs> after they kill him and shit, um, they run out there and they start tackling him and beating the shit out yeah, of him. Pulling him up. Though. But the guy that shot him originally, he's like, get him, he killed Malcolm. Oh, and really? I was like, what the? F-? Yeah, which I remembered that, but. Did he get, I mean, I'm sure he got caught too, but that's kind of, I, I kind of like, that's kind of funny. Yeah, you know, I don't think, I don't even know. I never, I meant to look it up. I didn't even So that guy could have got away with it? Could have, could have. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll look it up right now. I'll look it up right now. All right, well, you, while Hess looks it up. Shit, I forgot. I still have that the crowd. And I, it confused me last week. It confused me this week. I thought the crowd was going nuts. Uh, I want you to clean your vagina. We're doing a poll, baby. You gotta try this poll. Uh, he he was he was convicted second degree murder, twenty years to life. Uh, but he paroled. He was paroled by the New York State Division of Parole in twenty ten. Oh wow! So he he's out. That's kind of he crazy. 80, you, you, you get out for that. He is 80 years old. Uh, but there's, I mean, in the movie, there's a group. I don't know what it was like in real life. Yeah. I mean, it's not like everything in this is true. Jerome found out before the podcast. Yeah, what the fuck? That little fucking guy that's, that, like, did a little Jedi mind trick to him to get him into his religion wasn't even real. Yeah. What the fuck? But most most stuff in Hollywood, they fabricate the fuck out of, right? I yeah. Mean, yeah, like, watch, go watch Fargo. You Based get, on a true fucking story, eat you, my ass, bitch. You get over for a go for yeah. fuck's sake. Like th- 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 those words are like the most loosely loose it's, sentence it's, of before like, before the we get into the poll. Movie it's, all, it's all based. Before we get into a poll, can I talk shit about my mother real quick? It's your podcast. Uh, so when we were little, she terrified me until for the longest time, probably for probably for too long, probably till I was like twelve years old or something. I'll be honest. Jesus. I don't even know we, where you're going. We with thought this. Texas Chainsaw Massacre was real, uh, because it said you know based on true story and all that. And then Mom was like, "Yeah, this stuff really happened." There's a guy like she told us all. She the, probably believed it. All the shit she was telling us that yeah, this guy in Texas he just chops up people and then they make movies about him and all this stuff. And we we're like, "What?" And Jerome's like, "Can we go to Texas?" Taylor looked up eventually. It's Ed Gein, and it's like very, very barely based on him and all this shit. But I thought Texas Chainsaw Massacre is real for the longest time. See, and then we, and then we yelled at her when we found her. We're like, "What the fuck? You've been lying to us all this time." Mm-hmm. And she's like, "Well, first off." I mean, come on! What are you stupid? Do you think Texas Chainsaw Massacre is real? And then, and then she says that she never said it. That's funny. I b- I believe that. I've been in way too many arguments with her. Do not believe that. <laughs> I was like, you, what, are you, you think for well, you know, you Nightmare, think for like Nightmare on Elm Street's true. 
You see that? I know it doesn't say it's real, so that never that never swayed so me. So if it said it was real, you believe it? The yeah. fucking guy, like the, like in the, the strangers. Dream? We believe the strangers was real because it says it. And she goes, and then mom again was like, "Oh yeah, it happened. It was around Macy's birthday, and I heard all about it on the." She didn't hear about Dick. It wasn't real. Hmm. Fucking woman lies that to was, me all the uh, time. That's probably one of the scariest movies I've seen. Like oh, that yeah. movie. That's it's a it's a good it's actually a scary movie. I think. Yeah, we watched it on Halloween one time. And uh, it was like perfect timing. All of a sudden, as like the wind chimes moving, the movie wind chimes started moving in mom's backyard and it freaked us out. It was like me, Brian, his cousin, and Taylor. Mm-hmm. And then we looked outside and we don't know what th- this what they did. There was these trick-or-treaters, like three of them, that were just standing outside the house. They stood outside for an hour and then just left. But it scared the shit out of us. Because we thought they were going to come murder us. Brian's cousin had like the BB gun in his hand. Brian had a bat. Me and Taylor were shaking. You guys have a lot of help. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Fuck. We were shaking. <laughs> well, when I was younger, Am- people thought Amityville Horror was real. The one with Ryan Reynolds? Well, that's a remake, so yeah. Oh, okay. But n- everyone have then you, at that have point... You, have you seen that one? No. It's pretty good. You should watch it. No. Have you seen the movie with him in the hole? 27 hours later or whatever? Buried? Is that what it's called? It's not I, 27 hours later? Uh, that's... I think you were thinking of something else. <laughs> no, wasn't it... Tw- Oh, that's that one with the camera and James Franco. Yeah, no, but no, that's a hundred. That's one hundred and twenty-seven hours. Yeah, and then twenty-eight days later, zombie. Yeah. I'm mixing so many movies together. Maybe we should get to the poll. <laughs> All right, poll, <laughs> baby. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Would you like to go first, Hess? Since this was your movie, there's no like about yeah. it. All right, so what? I'm just picking a movie, or what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> what, motherfucker? Well, we we we're picking another movie star. And we have, so I just pick a movie, right? Uh, pick, a, pick a movie yeah. from, 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 either, from either Tenet or Malcolm X. An actor from one of those. And then get a movie. Or both. Movie. Yeah. All right. I am going to pick our current stars, Faja. Oh, okay. Okay. What, what did you... Where did I you was a little worried you were going to say John David Washington. I was going to go, oh, we can't do that, bud. <laughs> but, no, yeah. no, no right. I wasn't going to go there. He said he really uh, wants to I'm watch gonna, Beckett. I, I know, I know it's <laughs> but he'll only watch it if he has to. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick Equalizer, the Equalizer, because I, I, I really want to okay. see that. Well, you know what? I already seen. You that. know what? And I like that too because it's it's, it's you know just, Nick already watched it this year. It doesn't count for his movies. Yeah, so I'm gonna pick the Equalizer too. You're such a fuck ass. Uh, is it? I just want to make sure because I misspell the movies all it's, the time. Is it E Q U I L A I Z E R? No. No. <laughs> what is it then? Uh, e Q U A I A. L I Z E R equal. Okay, I had it right except for the I made the I and A. Okay, I got it. Okay, yeah. the equalizer. I'll go next. He went the equalizer. <laughs> yeah, I want to watch the equalizer. <laughs> Can I watch that instead? People, people are like, who the fuck is this? What's equalizer? <laughs> Someone's gonna look at our poll. Equalizer. <laughs> what was that? What was the uh, boo boo kitty fuck? <laughs> no, um, oh. it, it was na- natural not killers. <laughs> oh yeah, and then that fucking won. Yeah. And then you guys bitched about it for four months later. Oh, it's such a bad movie. Yeah, and what 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 uh, you you fucked up a hashtag like bug peepee or something? <laughs> yes, that yes, has a bug peepee like instead that. of a big peepee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, yeah. did you fuck it up? Yeah, that might be, yeah. that might have been a little real. <laughs> uh, but I'm uh, uh, I'm gonna go with Robert Pattinson. <laughs> <laughs> really? Sorry. Uh, Who's Robert Pattinson? <laughs> I got a little, got a little frog in my throat. Robert Pattinson. Good time. It's from the Zapti Brothers. They made uncut gems. So you could get to uncut gems from this actually if you wanted. Uh, but no, we couldn't. Yeah, you could. Because Robert Pattinson's not in it. But it's a really good movie, uh, starring one of the Zapti Brothers and Robert Pattinson. That's how you can get to uncut gems is because they're in it. Right, but we're gonna. If he wins, we're watching two Robert. Yeah, Pattinson. but so the next time you can. Oh, okay. But so let me put good time. Good time. It's also on Netflix. Or at least I, I watched it recently, like I, a month ago. It was on Netflix, so it should yeah. still be on there. Um, but if I, I, if I was picking it, it wouldn't be on there anymore. Yeah, probably. You, no, if you were watching it, you'd watch half of it and then leave Netflix the next day. Yeah, especially because yeah. today's the last day of the month. Um, I want to say Fallen because that's the movie I want to watch. But you're gonna oh, pick. Yeah. You can't get up. No, I'm gonna pick Crimson Tide. Uh? What's that? Submarine movie with Gene Hackman. Yeah. Oops. I almost I almost put Good Time Crimson High Crimson Tide. Uh, it, I is, act- it is still on uh, Netflix, by the way. Sorry. All right. Good. But if Crimson Tide wins or Equalizer wins, I'm gonna pick Fallen next week. Oh, okay. There you go. Because Fallen's fucking good. Uh, see, I, I I would I I would love to just go on like a Denzel run. I think it'd be fucking great. I love. I mean, well, we are. I would say at this point <laughs> we've, we've come up, we've watched yeah. a lot of Denzel and a lot of Quentin Tarantino. 
at this point now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, and now I two mean, John David Washington. We went from zero to two pretty quick. Well, yeah, because we changed the rules for him. Yeah. Well, did we go to? Um, so we haven't done this in a while. Do you have any special hashtags, Hess, or should I just wing it? Yeah, just wing it, baby. Hess, right. Hess has been moving for fucking 10 days. Hashtag no more ICs being thrown at my front door. Hashtag no bitches bounding on my door. Hashtag Hess is going to fuck his neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag G string lawnmower. <laughs> All right, the, the YouTube one is up as well now. Okay. I don't know how to get to YouTube. Oh. All right. Uh, so how do you want to do this? Should I just read through my notes and we kind of go, or should we just? Uh, yeah, I, I my, my notes, right. like it's like it's just kind of like. Follow me. I don't, I don't care. My first one, which is actually pretty funny. My first question for the movie is, mm-hmm. how authentic is this? Was the first thing I wrote down after like it was getting started. I, I think for the most part, it's based on the Alex Haley biography. So I think for I was, the most I was going to ask about that because I saw it said it was based on a book. So who's the who's the guy that wrote? Because the, there's a lot of stuff where it's just like him and some dude talking, and if he was gunned down in that little room. How did they know about some of this stuff, yeah. you know? It was, there was a biography about him from Alex Haley, who also wrote Roots, I believe. And uh, the movie was, like, Paramount said they were going to make the movie in 1968. And when did it come out? 1992. Oh, wow. So, oh, so this is, I, you know, I thought he was a little more recent than that. Who? Malcolm, Malcolm X. Malcolm X, no, but I guess, I guess fucking, not. I yeah. guess that's really old. Yeah. Yeah, it was Yeah, I didn't know a lot about like in I didn't I was surprised at the end when um uh, Martin Luther King Jr. is talking about him. I thought Martin Luther King Jr. would have been killed before Malcolm X. No, uh, Malcolm X killed but, yeah. So that, that was a, that was my surprise cameo in the movie was <laughs> Mal- <laughs> Martin Jeez. Luther King Jr. <laughs> I was like, Holy <laughs> shit, that bitch is in this movie? I mean did... Jesus. Sorry, Taylor text me. Um Before I learned of Malcolm X, like I didn't I, I was taught, like, in schools, basically, the Martin Luther King was the good guy, and Malcolm X right. was the bad guy. Mm, yep. Yeah. Me and Taylor actually talking about that recently. Um, can we remember? What was that movie that just came out on HBO Max that's um, uh, kind of similar to this, but more modern? Yeah. Uh, that had Daniel uh, Kalula and... Uh, fuck, I can't remember. But that was, that was pretty good. Yeah. Well, because we are talking about, like, it was about the Black Panthers and all that. Like, yeah. kind of growing up, the way people talked about it and all this stuff. Like, she even brought up a story she was told in the class of, like... There's a little black boy who was scared on the bus because he was next to a Black Panther and he's like afraid they were gonna hurt him and all this stuff, and like they were kind of treated as like the bad guys and all mm-hmm. and all, like growing oh, up for, for sure. And it, it's such weird now because you watch and you're like, oh, they were just like, just trying to mi- survive basically, right? But it was just, just so weird. Yeah, I mean, I mean, for lack of a better word, it's fucked up for a long. time. Oh yeah, time. it's completely fucked up. Fucked up for a long it's, time. It's, and it's, it's I, so weird watching a movie like this. Like you said, when, when did this come out? You said nineteen ninety two, and it is, it's from this time period and all that. And it could almost be, without a few things, obviously, be like a movie that was happening today. Oh, for sure. But I mean, like the cops, like, those, like a few things, like like how he, like I, I got here. I really like his uh, the mask zoot suit that he's wearing all the time. Mm. <laughs> he's walking around being like a. That's a spicy meat the ball. I I, I, I love those. You, I thought you were gonna. I thought you were gonna drop of. Uh, of uh, Archie saying you country something. Oh, I was gonna yeah. say, wow. <laughs> there was one I was tr- I was gonna get, but I couldn't find it on YouTube. It was uh, when he goes when he, he says I'm like, yeah, we'll talk, Daddy O. Uh, <laughs> when he kept saying Daddy O and stuff, I really liked that. I was like, oh, I gotta get that on the board, but I couldn't find the clip quick enough. I forgot that like like Denzel got into this role. Oh yeah, you could tell. It's uh, almost kind of two roles. Kind of. In a way, almost like three, because he's like Malcolm X. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm a fuck girls and I'm gonna get money kind of guy, and then he gets arrested for having sex with a white girl, which I, I wrote down. Basically, it was uh, 14 counts of eight to ten years, and then he had he was yep. like, <laughs> you know, he's kind of smiling. And I like that part when he's doing. He's like, 14 counts of eight to ten years, 14 counts, and like playing along with it. Because eventually, I feel like he kind of would do that oh. over how long they're they were oh, unless you're that. Spike Lee, then you just pass out. Yeah. I was gonna say, did you know that that was Spike Lee? Shorty was Spike Lee, Jerome. I did not know that. Oh, you didn't know? I that? read. Yeah. I read that he was one of the guys in the movie, but I didn't even recognize him. Yeah, he. Uh, yeah, Spike Lee was Shorty. Um, but I, I like that part. So, so that's the one role. Then he goes into jail. That's kind of like a different role. He's in solitary and freaking out and all stuff. And yeah. then he finds out about the religion from the fake guy, apparently. And then, uh, then becomes Malcolm X. Yeah, I was uh, actually waiting for that too the whole movie, because uh, they kept calling him Little and all uh, that. Yeah. Yeah. That, I thought maybe Omar is gonna show up. No, he's gonna be Omar's like secret brother or something. Jesus, that fuck. could be the that could be the. Uh, <laughs> oh shit! That's our sequel. 
<laughs> Instead, oh. when, when he dies, he doesn't really die. He turns into Omar Little. Oh, and then the wire is born. <laughs> I, I like that. That's pretty dope. You but didn't I, but even watch The Wire enough to appreciate that. I was, uh, and you walk through the garden. Okay. Um, I was waiting for him to get his name the whole time. I was like, when does he become Malcolm X? It's weird because I enjoy the beginning because it's... Yeah, like going into it, you don't expect it. Now, I mean, obviously, I've seen the movie before, but this is one of these movies like you're not gonna watch this a lot because it's so goddamn long. Oh yeah, yeah, you know. But like Denzel dancing and shit, like that was actually pretty cool because like I just you know we just watched him in Training Day not that long ago. You don't picture that guy fucking running around in a zoot suit dancing. Oh, and it's funny, too. Oh, sorry, this is the other one. On me. Oh, I'm not Don Cheadle. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I didn't mean to put the Don Cheadle one. Wow. You're going to lose your board privileges. <laughs> and it's funny, too, because, I mean, you figure he was 30 years younger in this movie. So Yeah. I mean, yeah, which is like, weird. Cause this, he this, looks young uh, in the beginning. I mean, he's supposed to. Yeah. He does, yeah. But in when, how he is in the normal, like, like I guess when he becomes Malcolm X, mm -hmm. besides the, how his hair looks and all that, you could pretty much like put him in any of his roles, except for like how he is like today, and it yeah. still looks like Denzel Washington. Yeah, like you could plop this guy in Training Day, no problem. Yeah. Um, what's funny is all grown up. The only thing I associated with, well, obviously, you know, he was like standing up for black people and all that. I associated that with Malcolm X, mm. but more than that, I associated him with you because I, I used to talk about him, and then you have that you used to have that book or whatever of him too. Oh yeah. And I knew you liked the movie. So mm. all growing up, anytime someone said Malcolm X, I just thought of you. You thought of me when you... <laughs> yeah, so you were the first person I thought of that's, with Malcolm X. That's kind of weird. I don't know. And even watching the movie, I was like, oh, I'm finally watching the movie that I've thought about you like my whole life. Well, I mean, he's a very interesting fi figure. And yeah. Yeah, what in, happened in, to him in, is a shame. In any point in his li life, from the like anything you cut to in the movie, it's an interesting story. I mean... Through the whole movie, you have to agree with everything he says, even when he's like, "Yeah, like, like when the like when the white lady walks up and she's like, what can I do to help you?'" And he's like, "Nothing." I was in the theater, and that, and I was probably one of the few white guys in the theater when I saw it. So everybody, everybody turned to you when that part happened. No, but like everyone was laughing. I was laughing too. That was mm -hmm. funny. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But um, he kind of has a point too. Yeah, I mean. But then the whole, the cool thing about it is, it's like, when he goes to Mecca, which I did read, this is the first movie that got the film there that yeah. wasn't a documentary. I saw, I thought it was kind of cool. <clears throat> uh, they Like, the what, what studio made this? You said it was a Paramount, you said? I believe it was Paramount. They were like, hey, why don't you just film this on, like, the beach in California or something? It was New Jersey. Yeah, and, and he was like, no. No, I'm not going to. And they wouldn't give him enough money because none of his <sighs> movies made enough. Yeah. So, like... He went out of pocket. Denzel went out of pocket. They got money yeah, from I did, Oprah Winfrey. I did see that he... Uh, like Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm scared to run a make the movie. He's like, I'll give you money. Just throw me a party. <laughs> um, You're a retard. <laughs> That's the one I women. <laughs> I meant to hit this one. Um, but, uh... <laughs> um, what was I going to say? <laughs> I oh, so, and then when he has the fucking... Bam, I'm changing and I'm going to do good and I'm... I like I love when he's like you know, white people can help. They can't join us. They, yeah, I do like can, that part. We have to learn to uh, get, be, get, along. Be with each, be, get along with each other before we get along with everybody and all that. And then yeah. they're like, "Hey, I got an idea. Let's kill this guy because he's making way too much sense." Yeah. So, so the the other relig the religious group that he was the old guy that I wrote down oh, in my notes Muhammad. remind me of like uh, what did I put down? I think I put <laughs> Muslim Godfathers. What I called them. Jesus. Yeah, I said he reminded me of the Muslim Godfather. Mm -hmm. Um. So that guy orchestrated the death. I don't know if it's been proven or not. Is that what happened? Is that, is that real? I mean, obviously. So that's a real movie, though? Yeah. Okay. I mean... Because I wasn't, I wasn't sure if that's like... I mean, if that was just like a, the, the I don't biggest it, theory. Like, we watched the Tupac shows. They say it's, Suge Knight did it and I'm, all that. It hasn't been proven, I'm sure. Mm. Unless that eight-year-old... See, like, e e e even, na even like nowadays, like, there are people that... I mean, like, like, in high school, I had a teacher. He was probably my favorite teacher. And, um... Like, he was black, and so, like, we watched, like, a lot of the, like, this movie, like, all, like, we, it was, like, it was, like, black history, and, um, like, it was, it was really cool to learn about and to, like, just read about and talk about it, but, um, like, there are people that think that, like, the government had him killed, like, same thing with, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Yeah, I've heard like, that even, a lot about even, Martin Luther he, King. He, he, even still, even still, like, like there are people that think the government killed Nipsey Hussle. 
because like they're 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 trying to bring like people together and stuff and the the you know they say like oh the government doesn't want black and whites to get along because mm. you know I, which I, I mean it's just stupid to me but yeah i don't believe it in nipsey hustle but like i'm sure with malcolm x and yeah. i i think for martin luther king i I mean, I, I People don't... People say I don't, the, the FBI did that shit. Like, it was yeah. like the FBI... When, the when I was younger, every, I mean, every time... I we'd, think they killed JFK, too, so... Every yeah. time we'd get into Martin Luther King in school, I used to... I don't know why. I was, like, obsessed with, like, whenever we'd read about him. Now I don't remember any of it. But There's I, a surprise. Every time we'd read about... Mar- I'd be so excited every time we're going to talk about Martin Luther King in school. I don't know why. Really? I, won't, that, I, that wonder, I wonder if in the back of my head it's because, like, Martin Luther King, Jerome King... I don't know. Like, I'm just that's just my maybe. theory. Maybe. Oh, like you thought you were related? I, like I could have been like his son or something. Maybe. You know what's funny is, wow. Growing up, I had a lab named Alex. <laughs> okay, hold on. I got to try to figure out how this connects. <laughs> but you asked <laughs> Melissa, like when he get in trouble, you go Alex Luther King. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. He was a black lab. So maybe so. it runs in the family. It's like in Martin Luther King. That's funny. Yeah, maybe. The, I like um, it. I like it when the FBI agents were like. This guy's a monk compared to Martin Luther King. Because Martin <laughs> Luther King like cheated on his wife and stuff, supposedly. Uh, well, from the beginning, I thought he was going to be like that, too, when he's, like, fucking that way. And he's like, puts his finger over her mouth and hey, I don't like women that talk that much. And she's yeah. like, what's to talk about, stud? Yeah, that girl's but I mean, annoying. Like, I totally agree, like, with, the with like, the conking of the hair. Like, why would you want to look like a white person? Oh, I thought like, his hair looked kind of cool. I like that. I, I've never seen... Like, I've seen people with that style, obviously. I didn't know it was called that, too. But I thought that was kind of cool seeing it like that. I was like, oh, that's kind of a neat little thing. At first, I was like, what the fuck's he doing? They're in the yeah. chair, and they put, like, glue in his hair, look like, and they're rubbing you, it back, and they're saying that, like, his... his was gonna, I, was like, I mean, Fleet. to be honest, you could probably do that. I used to kind of yeah. I used to kind of do that. I'd yeah. put so much hair gel on and brush my hair over it. Maybe that's why I like it. Uh, I am kind of like Malcolm hey, X. Maybe we it should, is, maybe it, we should conk, conk your hair. Maybe. It we is. should all... Oh, I guess Nick, Nick's Malcolm X, like... Towards the end of the movie, we could all be different like time periods of him. Uh, I did like it when he had to stick his head in the toilet because he couldn't find any water. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, that was really <laughs> that. Funny. That was shitty too. And then that fucking they busted their asses right there. They're like gigs up. Um. So I want. I worked down here too. Uh. Oh, first also I said, isn't it weird that Denzel and John, John David Washington, I'm on a first name basis with them. I got you. Yeah. Um. They both did movie with Spike Jones. Lee. <laughs> God God damn it. Damn. I, I wrote down Jones. <laughs> I don't know why. I knew it was Lee. I wrote down Jones. Sorry. I do that all the time. I, was, I, I, Jones. <laughs> Spike, I, wait. Spike, I get Spike Jones and Spike Lee confused just like John David. <laughs> Not John David. <laughs> I can't talk. Drum broke. Just like Joseph Gordon Levitt and Jake Gyllenhaal. I get those I, I, two confused. I like how you're like, you know, because people get them confused. Can't you? Like, they kind of look like me. No, no. For them, it's just a name thing. Do you think? Um, But they're both in movies involving the KKK and Spike Lee. That's what I was trying to say yeah, there. Yeah. So many years apart. I thought that was interesting. But whew. Yeah, we could have watched that one. You fuckers would have voted, right? Uh, but my next one is, so you know, they, they keep flashing to, like, he's, he's doing, I forget what Denzel's doing, but he's doing something, and then it flashes to his dad getting hit by the train. Yeah. And, and they keep kind of flashing that the whole movie. I yeah. was confused. Why did the KKK go to and burn down their house and not bring any weapons? Because you know how they do that, and they're just kind of standing there, and they're like, maybe, want, maybe you should wanted, get a, they, they, they wanted him to they, leave. They wanted him to leave town. Yeah, yeah. but just in case. Because he brought out... He, I mean, if you're burning someone's house down, you should probably expect them to shoot at you. They're obviously. also stupid fucking rednecks. No, yeah. Uh, that's, uh, but I was like, that's... Yeah. It just seems... I was like, that's weird. That like, And well, obviously, and it's the, a true the, thing. The, they could have had weapons thing. and not used them. I don't know. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like, I was, I was like, that's poor it's planning. Like, it was fucked up when, when then they burn his house and the flashback is... Yeah, and it's going back and forth between yeah. how they looked and all that. I like, no wonder this guy's pissed off. Yeah. And I, 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 I liked how they cut back to the scene. I also thought about the time our house caught on fire and we turned the water off. Yeah. At the same time. Remember when I came back in here and made a bandana on my head and I started watching Flash in my smoky room? God, you're... And you guys are just watching the living room, okay? And I was like, fine, fuckers. <laughs> yeah, thank God we went to a golf match the next day. That's true. Uh, I really like the Russian roulette scene. Yeah, that was really he, cool. He's going to shoot the fucker's nose off and all that stuff. I almost wanted to pick that guy. I almost, and picked, do, I almost picked that uh, guy, too. I'm all about the Benjamins. I, oh, my God, that's exactly <laughs> what I was going to pick. Oh, really? I almost picked that guy. <laughs> that's funny. He didn't do the right I thing. I also too. thought about I don't know who, which one there there was one of the one of the guys that worked for like the the mob boss kind of guy is in bulletproof. I almost yeah. picked, I almost picked that as well. Aren't I you? saw him and I was like I don't I'm picturing him and Adam Sandler and I was like what am I thinking of? 
So I went and looked at IMDb, and I was like, oh, bulletproof. I always picture that guy because Damon Wayne goes, did anyone ever tell you you look like a struck match? <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked up. Uh, but yeah, that, that I really like that scene of him doing that. The, like putting the gun. And, 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 and then at the end, he's like, he had the bullet all, all yeah, along. That was he pretty pawned, cool. He pawned, he's like, how'd you do it, man? You, you palmed that bullet? <laughs> <laughs> I was The whole time I was like, because he, he went like, like, sucked it off a little bit and then went to put it in. And I was like, well, he's got to be some kind of trick here. And then he kept shooting. And I was like, is he going to actually kill this guy or something? What's going on? That guy was shitting his pants. Dude. Yeah. Can you imagine oh, just yeah. hanging? Like you just get your, I, I'd almost rather just get killed. I think than just get my nose shot off. Oh well, yeah. Well, here, here's, I mean. but here, but I mean, he, I mean, he, he proved his point. Like, I'm, I'm the king, motherfucker. Yeah. Like, I'm in charge. <laughs> uh, I put in. I would lose my mind in solitary confinement. You lose your mind here. Yeah, but it, it reminded me. Like, imagine being in solitary confinement, that dark room. You're sitting in there, and you have to remember your number and all that, which I'd be horrible at. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Spike Jones. Yeah, if they if they, if my number was anywhere close to anybody else's and I remembered theirs for some reason, I'd be fucked. Um, That's so. Funny. But imagine like a cricket gets in the room or something and starts making noise. Oh my god, I would. Joseph lose. Gyllenhaal. Uh, you know what's funny is I don't think it'd even bother me. Crickets don't oh. bother you. There's a cricket in the in the kitchen the other day, and I was about to rip my fucking face off. I'm gonna fucking buy crickets. Let's throw them in your When I was there was like a while here when we we're doing a little movie thing. I was watching every time I turned on a Keanu Reeves movie, a cricket in the wall started cricketing. And I was like, "What the fuck are you doing, pal?" Cricketing. That's what they do. They cricket. Uh, they go, uh, is that a word? Cricketing? No. no. Cricketing. Rickety cricketing. <laughs> um, cricketing. So what else? I don't about? think solitary would bother me at all. It's I don't like people anyway. You think cricketing. sitting sitting in a dark room by yourself just wouldn't bother you? Maybe eventually. Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just being honest. I did this part. I kind of thought, thought was funny. Hmm. You know, when uh, he's talking to somebody, I think it's the religious guy that's not real. Well, you get over that. Um, it's for the story. And he's like, "Have you ever met a good white man?" And he only flashes to the white people that we've seen in the uh, movie. Yeah, I thought that was kind of. I was like, they couldn't have filmed like two or three other scenes <laughs> to show yeah. like he's met other. He's only met white people at once about, as a child, and then when he's the like twenty six years old. The fucking teacher, you can't be that a lawyer. That teacher was fucked up. That was a fucked up scene. Just seeing a teacher talk like that to a child was fucked up to see. And he thought he's being nice to him. That's the f- most fucked up part about it. Yeah, and I, I did like. He's like, what do you mean? I'm spe- like I. Get better grades than everybody. He's like, yeah, but... I'm smarter you, than everybody. You do good with your hands. I would hire you. Yeah, I, uh, if I, yeah. I wanted to hit the TV. And burn down the teacher's house. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, this I really like. Did you notice whenever he's get, he was giving his speeches like towards the uh, second half of the movement he gets out of jail and all that, mm-hmm. <clears throat> there's always one guy in the crowd that kind of like half agrees with him, it sounded like. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't notice <laughs> the, that. The I just I know. Every time hand in my pocket. <laughs> that that happened a couple times, yeah. Well, yeah, the first time it was bunk. The 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 funny thing is, is like uh, when when I, I think it's like right when he well, it's it's obviously when he's in prison, but like there, there's a part of it. It's like where like the doors are opening up and closing, and like guys are moving, like coming in and out, and somebody like you hear somebody go Jackson or something like that. Like uh, that's at the beginning of a Tupac track. Uh, oh right you know okay th- yeah we were watching the movie and i just heard a voice like that and i turned to her, i go what was that and she was like wow well, there was randomly a guy like yelling like that and she's like i don't know i didn't hear it and uh-huh. it, it confused the fuck out of me but i'm glad you brought that yeah up. well you know what because it, it's like jackson and then you hear like a door like slam and i'm like that's the fucking beginning of a fucking tupac song. well like for instance i was watching lose a weapon 2 like a couple months ago two electric boogaloo <laughs> um <laughs> or was it two Electric boogaloo. But there's a there's a there's a car chase, and it's Joe Pesci and I don't remember if it's with Danny Glover or if it's Mel Gibson. But anyways, they, there's a car chase, and they crash, and a boat goes through and like hits a guy in the face. It's it's actually it's a pretty cool scene for back then, especially. Mm-hmm. But when it hits him, I think it's Mel Gibson that goes, "Oh, wipe out!" And then you hear <laughs> Joe Pesci go, "I told you to watch out." Totally the beginning of an Ice Cube song. Oh, really? And like. I did the same thing, or um, in Die Hard, when she's like, see if there's a black and white that can do a drive-by, and then all of a sudden, it's every time I hear that, I'm watching Die Hard, I think of the fucking song. Here, here's my uh, little white boy version of that. Oh, God. Uh, anytime you're watching something and they have kids laughing, it's the opening of Nito. <laughs> oh, yeah. They use the same, like, royalty-free kids laughing in everything. It's in, like, four Doctor Who episodes. It's in, like, everything. Really? Yeah. 
Uh, I have heard that since <clears throat> you played Nito six billion times. Yeah. Uh, I really liked he's doing that TV interview with and like like uh like they, they they video him on TV or whatever doing it. Oh yeah, and it was like I liked how it was like different angles too. It was the yeah, TV. Yeah, I liked it how like, it was filmed and then also like what he was saying was really cool too. Yeah. Arguing with the that's guy Spike, for that's his Spike, point. Spike Lee. Spike Lee. He hasn't made, has he made anything recently? Oh uh, yeah. Black, Black Klansman and then the was a, is a Five Bloods oh, yeah. Five Bloods on Netflix. Yeah, I didn't which like. I still want to watch because ever you're the only person I heard that I was know. bad. But I was I haven't. I didn't say it was it. bad. I just didn't like it. That was that's, that's Chadwick Boseman's last thing, not counting What If, right? Or is there something yeah, else? Yeah, uh, I think so. But I, I I thought that was his last. Hey, I mean Chadwick Boseman <laughs> was good in it, but the, the rest of it was kind of like I don't know. Like it was. It okay. just wasn't for me. Oh, okay. Uh oh! I put the uh, th- that's the guy from The Sopranos. I put down um, Christopher. I don't know what this means. I put that was the that was an obvious Mike in the light. Oh, oh I remember what that means now. Uh, when he was talk, you know, when he's talking to his wife and that she keeps getting the phone calls. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's like, "No, I'm not gonna come home, baby." Also, it's like it's like the day before he gets assassinated, kind of. Oh, did he know there was the bug on the light in that room? He knew he was being bugged. I because I figured because the the camera's panning by and the, the it's a lit and there's just you just see a giant like round mic yeah. on the light and I was like what the like he has to see I mean, he you turn on the light it's right in your face yeah I mean I think they made it so More. we would know he's being bugged not yeah. so that he would no know. yeah I figured that too but I thought yeah. that was like I felt like oh well, you feel like you could have creative, well, creatively done that better plus the two FBI guys in the other room going like this <laughs> kind of gave it away. No, they were actually, yeah, they were actually just <laughs> they were just sitting in his room doing that, just listening to him. Which both those guys, one is John Sales, who's another director. He like uh, he directed Eight Men Out, and uh, the other guy was the guy from Tenant that I was talking about before. Oh, okay, uh, and then I put Gus killed Malcolm X, and then they were on the sequel, baby. Yeah, were you surprised what to see Gus? I was. I was I, like, well, I'm surprised you didn't spoil that for me. I almost picked him and um, went forty eight hours. Not 48 um, hours. Uh, trading Places. Because like, I was watching it. You came out. Because I watched the first half out back. I was waiting for Taylor to come home and then we watched the rest uh, inside. So Taylor needs to rewatch it. Yeah, she needs to watch the first half. Yeah. I, I recapped her when we were walking Joey. First half, I think I like the first half better, I think. I, I like the first half a lot. But I, I, I like the first I half, surprised. but I, I like it better when he is Malcolm X. Because you came out back a few times while I was watching it for like Phoebe and to talk to me and whatnot. I'm surprised yeah. you didn't spoil Gus being in it. Well, I didn't want to spoil it. Uh, but so my sequel, even though I really like the, the Omar Little one, just the one I wrote down here, mm. was that John David Washington's character in this just grows up to be his character from Tenet and lives Tenet. Oh, there you go. <laughs> well, mine's similar. What's yours? Mine is the protagonist goes back in time. And saves Malcolm X? Saves Malcolm X. And then instead of like, but my thing was. Oh, like Malcolm X is going to get shot. And you see, like the like in front of the stands, it starts doing the little like, like the see like the sand shit moving. Like you know, the bolts are inverted, so he moves out of the way. Well, but then he says and brings him to twenty twenty and has him talk when we're like doing all that fucking I was gonna say, George he, he, Floyd he, he stuff. St- he stands at like a Trump rally. Could you imagine him like debating Trump? That I would watch that. That'd be like a pay per view event right there. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be that'd be a good thing. That'd be a good. Mar- Marvel should do that as a what if. <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm X debating <laughs> Donald Trump. Yeah, that's my, that's our what if, baby. We should make a poster of that. I I read that like they um, like Denzel got shit for getting the role. I could see I could see anybody would get shit for it. I think well, I, feel, I feel like uh, until you see the movie, but everyone's gonna be like, do what the reasons were. We're not black enough or something. Too black. Uh, yeah, because people say that. Like like uh, is it Daniel Kalu- is get him mixed up? I get a lot of people mixed up apparently. Yeah, um, but like so it's it's, people were mad because he was like a British black person play, playing a role of a uh, black guy and stuff. People were like, "Oh, you're a British black person, so it's different." Well, you know what? Samuel Jackson gave him shit for Get Out. Remember? Oh, um, I because he's remember. a British actor. I kinda mean, remember that. actor's an actor. I mean, I don't know. They just want they want roles, American roles to go to Americans or whatever. But like, I don't know if the guy's better. Yeah, he's a great actor, so I I, I, I thought he portrayed him. Like great. Obviously, I didn't know Malcolm X. What well, and also, I mean, if you go like if you look at the pictures like next to the of of them, because they they even play videos of them. Or well, it pic- pic- it's pictures at the end. It's help that it's in black and white. Yeah, yeah but it, they look very similar. Even like with, with, well, what's it called when he does the hair thing? What's that called? Conk. Uh, yeah. When he does when he does that, and all, like they look so much alike. Even with the head shaved and they like, got the speeches and all that. 
Yeah, it was. I mean, like, which I also saw in the trivia. I don't know why. I, maybe it said it, but I and I missed it. But the actor refused to say those last couple lines at the end of the movie. It was Nelson Mandela, and, and that's why they um, cut to him. Cut to yeah. Malcolm X actually saying it, which I think was a better choice. They end with like the real him saying his speech. Yeah, is a better choice. Yeah, I no, I agree. I kind of like that better too. Um, it makes it, also, it makes it feel more real. They thought they thought Denzel was too short. Oh. Malcolm X was six four, and I guess Denzel six two. I'm like, give me a fucking yeah, that's break. Not, that's just nitpicking. Yeah, right yeah. no shit. <laughs> yeah, that's just been like, hey, what else do we not like about him? Yeah, it was. Ja- those were all Jamie. But I still now. You got a Google machine? Who won Best Actor for in 1992? I'm gonna guess. Or I guess it'd be 93. Best Actor 1993. I think. Do see who's nominated? Al Pacino. For Son of a Woman, yeah, ninety two was Anthony Hopkins, Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, but so this movie came out in ninety two, so it'd be ninety three. Yeah, so uh, ninety three was uh, Al Pacino, Son of a Woman. Yeah, uh, Denzel Washington was nominated. Uh, voters passed over uh, him as Malcolm X and uh, many kind of what does it say? I mean, don't I, do you, do you not agree? He. <laughs> I don't I mean, know. I've, I've never seen Scent of a Woman, but I've seen Al Pacino act, and I would say, obviously, Denzel it, Washington should beat him. 100%. It's a it's a good movie. I do like Scent of a Woman, um, but I... <laughs> we I, know you I, like I the like... Scent of a Woman. <laughs> yeah, we... <laughs> um, but so, any uh, any last things? You guys want to check the poll and do our movie list? Sure. I don't have any last things. So, um, so, so last question. Would you, would you have given it to Denzel over... Oh, you know, like, I, I would have. Oh, like ten times it. over. Yeah. Uh, so we got more votes. More. There's what a what, what is going on with my mouth today? Uh, uh, maybe uh, take dick so out. the poll on Twitter. I haven't gone to YouTube yet. On Twitter, uh, last place the Equalizer, eleven percent. Second place, Crimson Tide, thirty three percent. Good time, fifty six percent on YouTube. Wow. With nine votes total. Now let me go over to YouTube. You said mm. YouTube the first time, you fuck. Uh, oh, and it ended in a tie on YouTube with four votes total. Good time in Crimson Tide died. <laughs> so we're watching... So good good time, because overall, good time got more votes. Okay. But but Crimson Tide was tied on YouTube. So... Now, so we're watching two... So now we have to watch another Robert Pattinson movie after this. Okay. If we're, if we're doing, if confusing. we're doing, has, doing has to think. not really. You just whatever, whoever wins this movie, whenever we, after we watch two, just watch another one of their movies. No, I know, but I was thinking, oh, we, we, I could pick Fallen next week, but no, I can't because Robert Pattinson isn't in it. Yeah, you can find someone else that's in it. Maybe can we that. pick Tenant? Then just fucking no, redo. you can't pick Tenant until after the next award. Well, show. we didn't get the Tenant from Robert Pattinson. I guess that's true. I guess uh. technically you could pick Tenant, but it'd be kind of a dick move. I'm not picking Tenet. Uh, but uh, you want to do our movie? I'm li- picking Twilight. Want to do our movie list and then get the fuck out of here? Twilight. If you go into it, no, with people and to have a fun time, they're not horrible movies. But I feel like if you just watch it by yourself, hanging out, it'd probably be a pretty bad time. Okay. It wouldn't be what we're about to watch. It wouldn't be a good time. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, I got a feeling you're still ahead of me. Uh, but let's see. I know what I'm picking next. Uh, okay, I have watched 290 movies. No, you haven't. Have you? Yes, I have. Wow. I've only watched three. <laughs> Total? Mm-hmm. No, I, I don't have my list up. I can't see. You can check your list. It, that's only just for us can see, so just do it real quick. Mm. Uh, well, actually, you, I guess you could wait. I'll read my movies, and you could do yours. Okay. Uh, so, ending in uh, Tenet, I watched The Hateful Eight, uh, which I really liked. I watched that for the first time. Did you like it better than Django? Uh no, but it was still really good. I re- I really really liked it. Okay, uh, I've yet to see it. I wa- it's on Netflix. They have, I, they I have that, and they have the one that's episodic, and it's the extended version. So I thought about watching it, but it's long, and you th- it's, it's we've watched fucking five hours of movies in the last two weeks. Mm-hmm. It's it's r- it's a really fun movie, and it, it has uh has this guy in it. I can't think of his name. The guy that we watched, we we got to uh, from Django to, um. Oh yeah, Christopher Waltz. Yeah, yeah it has him. He's in a big part in it. I love Christopher Waltz. Uh, Mighty so American Wedding, Coraline, Candyman saw in theaters. I really liked it so much. Now we're gonna watch the original couple. Uh, I watched The Matrix. I watched Vacation Friends on uh, Hulu. The fuck are you looking at? Uh, the camera was blinking. It's I don't know what was going on. Oh okay. Uh, I, I watched there was a ghost. I, I watched Vacation Friends on uh, <laughs> on Hulu, Hulu with John Cena. I, I heard that, that was good. That's a pretty okay movie. It's it's entertaining. It's not mm. going to be the best movie I've ever seen, but it's fun. 
Uh, was watched, it better than Malcolm X? I watched Malcolm X. Uh, no, it was not better than Malcolm X. Okay. Uh, and then I watched a movie called Ragman in the trailer last night, which is really confusing because the only title you see in the movie says Ragman. Mm-hmm. But on IMDb and on YouTube, which we pulled it up from, it's called Trick or Treat. Hmm. So I, I called it Ragman, and then halfway through the movie, she's like, it's called Trick or Treat. And I was like, but it said Ragman on the screen. She's like, yeah, I know. I was a little confused, too. But it's about this this rock star that dies, mm-hmm. and this kid ends up getting like a like a uh, what's it called? I can't think what's it called. I don't know what you're talking what, about. What would be the little thing? You put it on there. You put the little needle down and a record. He sorry. He Jesus put, he fucking cry. My brain's mush today. <laughs> uh, he you play his record backwards, and he, he can kind of talk to the guy, and it brings him back to life, and it figures out how he's gonna take over the world doing all this stuff. But it's like a horror movie with that. Mm. It's like a very cheap. Like he shows about like the like high school dance and starts like zapping kids and killing them and stuff. Um. It was, it was a it was a very it was horrible. a very pretty okay movie. There's a lot of parts that we we're like, what the fuck is happening? But it was it's a really short horror movie, so it wasn't bad to watch. But that's my 290th movie. Okay. Hey, um, real quick question for you, Jerome. Mm-hmm. If you had to rate Malcolm X out of ten, what would you give it? Well, that is a good question. Out of ten, just um, just because you know this was the first time you've ever seen it. Yeah. So. Um, you say it's see. pretty okay. Would you roam me, roam me, roam me, roam? Think. I think I'd give it like a seven point five. Oh, okay. 7.5 teetering on 8. Like, I, I quite enjoyed it. Like Nick said, I probably won't watch it again in like until a few years probably because it's, it's long and you kind of it's just like a story. You kind of get the gist of it. Yeah. Um, But well, I, really, I really enjoyed when you, it. When you like maybe if you like start dating a black woman down the road, mm-hmm. that's something you could revisit it. You know? and we hey, have you ever again. seen Malcolm X? I'm, yeah. I'm going to assume that she probably has, but I guess I shouldn't assume. Right. That is a terrible thing to assume. <laughs> I guess so. It's interesting that he can only rewatch it if he dates a black person. That's the only. Th- what if he dates a black for, dude? For now on, that's the only way I'm allowed to rewatch this movie now. It's, <laughs> it's in my head. I'm oh. never going to watch it again until then. <laughs> hey, I really hope you find a black woman to date. That would be fucking awesome. Uh, then we'll watch Malcolm X with you. I, w- I would. Uh, well, I, double, I wouldn't. I'd double date me. I, <laughs> me. I wouldn't. <laughs> I, I, why? <laughs> Come on, the black ladies love me. I think I, I, I think Until I you talk. You gotta try this. No. <laughs> By the end of the movie, I'm gonna be hearing. You're such a fuck ass. <laughs> no, no, no. A little hostile there. You know, you, you know, what you'll hear. You'll hear me snoring. Oh wow, Malcolm X puts you to sleep, huh? No, it's <laughs> called a, any movie puts me to sleep. All right, well, I think it's called anything puts you to sleep. <laughs> Well, well, just just so you know, I fucking I went uh, I went to bed last night like nine thirty. I still had shit to watch of this. I woke up like at fucking one o'clock, and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm like, I get, I'll just start watching it. So I finished it. Wow, so you were watching two, Malcolm two, X at two, one in the morning, and he's like, and like, I can't figure out why I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's been it's been a whirlwind. It was either either it was either fucking watch it then, or I had to text you guys and say, hey, I haven't finished it yet. <laughs> We're gonna have to do this shit tomorrow. Well, the funny and thing I didn't is, I want to do that. The funny thing is, is both of us are like, why did Hess pick a three-hour and twenty-minute movie <laughs> on, a I, 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 on, the, on the weeky mood? I wasn't thinking. <laughs> hey, but it, it worked out, and it was a pretty good movie. I've never seen it before. Yeah. All right, so I've watched one hundred. Never mind. One Two, only a hundred. Two hundred ninety-eight movies. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. Me, 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 me. Oh, so I'm eight ahead of you. Yeah, I told you, but you were ahead of me yeah. last week. I only watched a few this week. I don't know where I left off. Somewhere around Tenet. Uh, oh. oh, Tenet's not on here because I oh, already, already watched, watched it. it yeah. uh, I don't oh, know. I think I left off at Killing Them Softly because you guys made fun of it. <sighs> oh, yeah. So I watched Clear and Pre- Present Danger, Moving Target, which was fucking horrible. <laughs> That's a Jason Bateman TV movie that was on Hulu. Mm-hmm. Sounds fun. <sighs> oh, J- yeah. You- what? Did you put Free Guy on your list, Jerome? I didn't hear you say that. Did you? I said that, that last week. That was last week. Last week. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So then I watched John Wick. John Wick Two, which I needed to. Yeah, take I was off. gonna say John Wick Two doesn't count, motherfucker. We did a podcast. Oh no, no, that was prior. That's what I, I forgot. It's we did the podcast on John Wick Two in oh, 2020. Oh wow! So that means I gotta watch Fargo again. You could. We watched it that long ago. We did a podcast on it that long ago. Yeah, we started this movie thing in like December. Yeah, because so, I looked. I was going to watch John Wick three instead. I did that because of that. They were all on on. Uh, None of them are on shit. They now. were all on HBO Max like a couple months ago. Uh, so I watched three instead of two because we did a podcast on it. And I, but I wanted to watch two. 
I watched one because I just want to watch it and we own Amazon. And then I had to put the DVD in to watch two. And I was like, oh, I should get three. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure you bought two. Is on it Amazon. the other way around? Whatever. Uh, so then I watched Patriot Games and Nightmare on Elm Street Part Two, No Way Out, City of Lies, which we talked about, Interstellar, which was right before Malcolm X. So there's six hours of my life. Which I, I was just, why didn't I put Nightmare on Elm Street 2? I forgot I watched all the Nightmare on Elm Streets right. already this year. See, it gets a little confusing. Uh, I watched Sweet Girl. Was she sweet? Do you know what that is? The Jason Momoa movie on Netflix? Uh, no. Uh, it was like number two. Oh, I have heard about I mean, I, I, haven't, I don't know anything about it, but I've seen the poster. Uh, not great. Yeah, I can imagine. Although, have you seen the tra- his show, him and uh, Aquaman's new show on Apple? He is Aquaman. Oh, shit, yeah. Him and Drax's show on Apple? No. Oh, yeah. It yeah, looks yeah. kind of neat. Yeah. They're like, oh, I don't want to kill you. And he's like, you won't. And they're going to fight And my shit. 298th movie, I watched on accident. I don't, I don't know how you watch a movie on accident. So I, I finished Sweet Girl. You're a retard. And I thought we were going to do a podcast yesterday, but we didn't. So I was like, oh, I'll watch another movie. Fuck it. So I finished it this morning at the gym, but I watched Point Blank. What's that? It's uh, Falcon. And the Winter Soldier. No, it's Falcon, who is a nurse, and his wife's pregnant. And then, uh, what's the bad guy to Captain America that gets... Red Skull? No, no, no. Mo- th- motherfucker's got Red Skull. No, in, in part two, he like blows up and then gets shit on his... Oh, I don't know his name. Um, Crossbones, but I don't know, Crossbones, his, I don't know yeah. his real name. So, cr- Jesus. You're so, Crossbones, like, in the beginning of the movie, gets shot and then hit by a car and goes to the hospital, so then he's taking care of him. <laughs> and then he gets shit on him. He starts fighting Captain America. But then they just, like, they end up like going to get, like, the, his brother kidnaps the wife so they can get out, and it's bad cops and all this shit goes on. And it wasn't a bad movie. There's some real funny parts and there was some decent action, And but I totally meant to watch the one you told me to watch with Anthony oh, Mackie. Oh, the Sing... sing- Chronic or whatever, yeah. synchronizing, whatever it's called. That's what I was going to click on That's to watch. That's such a good movie. You I was going to watch that. that, and I was like, oh, there's that Anthony Mackie movie, and I clicked it, and I was watching it, and I'm like, this is not what Jerome told me to watch. And yeah, I'm no, like, oh, that, fuck it, now I'm 20 minutes well, in, I'm just watching I ex- this. I expect by next week you watch that. That's such a good movie, and I'm, I'm, I really want to know what you think about it. It was weird seeing Anthony Mackie and Crossbones like doing shit together. Is that one new? Maybe, I don't know. 2019. What? That's 2019. 2019? Because there's something with Crossbones in it, and I think Anthony Mack, there's somebody else from Marvel that I was like, oh, that's interesting. And I think he, it is going to Netflix or something. He was pretty likable as a bad. He's kind of like the bad guy slash good guy because the cops are kind of the bad guys. It, uh, okay. it takes a while to figure that out, kind of. Um, Seems unrealistic, but okay. Yeah, I mean, especially after what we just watched. <laughs> um, but <gasps> oh, he, he was pretty likable. I, oh, he was okay. he was kind of fun to watch. I feel like it's hard to imagine that guy's likable. No, he, that's he, why he, I mentioned he, it. Yeah, he, usually he's like a complete asshole. Usually he's a. You're such a fuck ass. You know. <laughs> uh, but are you, you guys uh, ready to wrap up, or do you have a story has about like fucking your neighbor? I do not. Don't what? have any stories. Dang it, turned in. Uh, turned in the keys. We're done with the old place. So did you throw an icy at, at your at those kids' door before you went home? Pussy. I did not. Damn it. Pussy. You should have like jerked off onto their car or something and like spelled out Hess was here with your semen on their door. See, that's probably not a good idea. Oh, because they can mm-hmm. test it and then oh, and then they can clone him and it's an army of Hesses attacking his new house. It's like Hess mm-hmm. knocking on his own door. He sees himself on the ring camera, but like there's like slight deformities because he you knows his come out in the heat and all that stuff and it's raining. A little bit of dirt got in there. Okay, he's lost his mind. That's my yeah, sequel that's to the Hess uh, movement is that these kids take his cum and make clones of Hess to come knock on his door. Like uh, I said. Wraps everything up. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Please like, subscribe, comment down below if you want us to make a movie of Hess coming on, ki- not coming on kids, coming, <laughs> coming on the, those kids take his cum and make clones of We'll see you guys next week. Okay, bye. <laughs>